All right, everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. I was about to say Sticker Star. Oh, cool, it saved everything. All right. I was actually a little worried. So, yeah, uh, last time <clears throat> we entered Toad Train Works. The boss here was depressed that he didn't have any work, so he just gave us the paint star and let us be on our way. And then we visited the, 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 the Tangerino Grill. There we go. And there was really nothing we could do there, but we did find the last blue rescue squad toad dude, and we sent him back to Kawano Temple, then we went back to Kawano Temple, refilled the colorless spots, got the last uh, paint star, sent the train on its way, but oh no, a thwomp destroyed it, so now here we are at Toad Train Works, there we go, and we're trying to fix up the train, but we ran into some issues, so yeah, hopefully today we can finish Fixing up the train. So what's going on in here? I should have known. Okay, so there was some sucking going on in there. Well, we got all of the sniffets of the rainbow. Well, th three of them, at least. Two reds, two blues, two yellows. Okay. So, I don't happen to have any fire flowers or ice flowers or spikes, so this is going to be a bit on the annoying side. Screw it, I'll use one of them. Uh, what do you even do? One enemy, what do you do? One enemy, okay. What do you do? One enemy, don't mind me, I'm just going through my card roster here. Uh, hopefully this will work out well in my favor. Koopa dude, do your thing. Alright, we're almost there. Shoot! No, not my Koopa buddy! How dare you! That's all right. I can just get you with a regular jump. So had my Koopa buddy stayed alive, would he have attacked again? See, these battles go by so quickly. But now this makes me think, like... Do they function as... Like your... Helpers from the other Paper Marios? Where if they survive the fight, they'll just keep on attacking? Because if so, that's actually... Really neat. Half of my color has been sapped. I can't move. There you go. Can't move, I can't eat, I can't even breathe. Thank you so much for saving me. By the way, I got put in charge of operating this crane, but I just started here and I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm scared to ask the boss because he'll find out I lied on my resume. You wanna help me out? I've been on that road, you know, lying on a resume. I mean, what? It seems the crane moves left and right by itself. All you have to do is press A when it's in the right place. This is the worst crane. Okay. Boom. Grand Theft Auto V prepared me for this. Not so much assembling a train, but so much like having a crane lower something at the right spot. God, that mission was boring. Well done, the cabin is in the perfect spot. Now raise the crane. I knew it wasn't gonna be that easy. Nailed it, we're a couple of pros. Thanks for talking me through it, Mario. Right, well, I gotta go hammer that down and then I guess I can be on my way to un furling this. This chute is supposed to move coal from the tank outside the factory, but this darn box is in the way. Yeah, I'll get to that shortly. But first... C c come on. There we go. Cabin set. Only one more part that needs to be said. You're so, 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 very, very, just so. Like you can almost taste it close. Hurry, go. All right. Where was the, oh, 
die. I'm, I'm dumb. Hit that. Can't even jump up there. Okay, well, oh, wow. Um, there has to be a quicker way. Because I am not about to make this. Um... Oh, I'm a freaking idiot! Duh! Just jump up here! <laughs> what was I even doing? Was I drunk? And there we go. Thanks, Mario, but why isn't the coal coming through? Would you mind going outside and checking the coal tank? Will do. I'll just take the scenic route. Oh. These shy guys seem awfully bold. Hey, get your grimy little stumps off that coal. You asked for it. Well, that's mission accomplished then, right? How long am I gonna have to wait for the coal to... Are you all right, Mario? Oh, I gotta jump out. Okay. You could use a shower, but I'm glad you're not hurt. At least those shy guys won't be bothering us anymore, eh? Oh no. You rang? Coal guys? What differentiates them from regular... <laughs> okay, I'm going to assume I can't jump on them. So I'll try hammering them. We'll, we'll see what this is about. No. So I'm wasting my time. Okay. Um, yikes. That did a, a lot of damage there. I'm wow. Okay, cool. Alrighty then. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna have to uh, get a little sneaky here. Yikes. There we go. I'm very disappointed right now. Okay, well then, uh, pow block seems to be the way to go, but I don't have any more pow blocks, so, um, mm, uh, maybe I was supposed to use iron jump on them, I guess? I don't know. Uh, let's try a giant hop slipper. Okay, yep, this does seem to be the, like, jumping seem to be the way to go. I just assumed I wouldn't be able to because of the coal. Or do I have to get rid of the coal first? One way to find out. Regular jump. No, so, yeah, I do have to, like, get rid of the coal. I guess Pow Block is the way to go. <laughs> oh, my God. Um... Only because I'm scared to death right now, I'm gonna go ahead and heal. And, uh... Wow, um... All I can say is just wow. Oh, God. I'm so glad I had chose to heal before that happened. So yeah, they're nothing without the coal, so... Maybe I would have had to use a POW block before, or do you just have to tank the coal? I don't think they would have you tank the freaking coal, so... It probably was as simple as just... Like using a POW block or iron jump. 
Well, no, no. I, I don't know. I don't know. That was kind of weird. Kind of scary. I'm only right here because I saw this colorless spot. Okay. Where am I at? 88%. It feels like not, not much has changed, but okay. Well, now I can help out this toad. The coal's in place. Coal set. All parts accounted for. Repair is complete. That's a nice looking train right there. A nice looking train indeed. At a glance, the train doesn't look no different, but all the parts have been overhauled and tuned up. Should run just as well as it did before it was crushed. Hope that I can say the same about myself, seeing as how me and this train seem to be connected to each other. Well done, Foreman. No one knows trains like you do. We're sad to hear that this is your last job. You're still gonna do odd jobs here and there, right? Let's toss the foreman in the air in a heartfelt but super dangerous show of gratitude. Heave ho. <laughs> uh oh. Why is the train coming back? All right. Uh oh, thanks guys, but I can't take full credit for this particular success. You all did the dirty work, and we couldn't have done it without Mario and Huey here. Let's change of plans. Let's do the same thing to Mario in the paint can. <laughs> the slow motion, though. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for all you've done. This train is in perfect form. The passengers are waiting and hungry, so we're off to Tangerino Grill. Ooh, money. One last run. Give it everything you've got, engine. This is all thanks to you, Mario, so please take this. Oh, a washing machine replica you shouldn't have. Right, gather around, boys. Can I get that money before it disappears? This is the end for me. I'm officially retiring now. Thanks for all the good memories. We love you, Mr. Foreman, sir. It's us who should be thanking you. So is this just going to be an abandoned shop? I'm going to stay and soak in this train works for a while. Try to cement these memories in my heart. But unlike me, your work isn't over yet. You've got a bright future ahead of you. Enjoy it. It goes so fast. Thanks, Foreman. Mario, let's go to the restaurant. There must be a mini paint star there. Yeah, but first things first, how do I get this freaking... Well, the train's out the way. Was it hiding anything? Oh, wait. Do I gotta push that thing all the way down? And I couldn't do that because of the, uh... The, the, the train thing? I'm going to assume so. Alright, well, we got these little paint things out the way. You're not... Sneaky. I have to do it from up there, I'm assuming. And I destroyed one of the uh, blocks, so I can't get up there. Well, dang. Um. Hopefully those weren't some important cards. I mean, they're not going to be important cards, but hopefully they weren't, like, overly helpful cards. And they probably were. Okay. Almost there. I overshot.
Or that can happen. All right, then. Don't question it. Just accept it. All right. Are you at 100? We are at 100. Okay. And just because I'm too lazy to press start or walk over one screen, I'm just grabbing this. Plus, I need to get back up to max coins. It's very important that I do this. Despite the fact that I'm not about to go all the way back to the freaking uh, Port Prisma because we're right here. Let's consider I'm already 87% done with the spots there. Oh, wait. Oh. You can wait. But yeah, I'm 87% done here. I don't think there's going to be like major combat going on. So let's go to Tangerino Grill. As I get up to move a cable that seems to be out of place. Might need to purchase some new component cables. Just might. Alright, there doesn't seem to be anything going on out here. Thanks again for helping us get the train working, Mario. There was a small delay, but we're finally managed to get our passengers to their destination. Everyone's inside the restaurant enjoying delicious food with big smiles on their faces. Aww. What? I don't see food or smiles. He lied. I'm starving. Where's the grub? Do you know how long we had to wait on this stinking train? This is unacceptable. Where is our food? Okay, are y'all gonna assault me again just like y'all did on the train? No, <laughs> I'm supposed to eat air. Tell us don't eat air. Oh, are they all just gonna say the same thing? That's... Aww. I wanted to hear more snark. Oh, I'll just settle for light snark. Uh, okay, okay, that's that's enough. Just wanted to make sure, but yeah, I'm gonna assume they all say the same thing. Oh, Monsieur Mario, this is bad, awful, catastrophic. The customer has finally arrived, but the food is nowhere to be found. Too few cooks in the kitchen? I think not. We have an elite crew of the most skilled food preparers working alongside our head chef. Perhaps they are overwhelmed with ordeals, or perhaps culinary disaster has struck. A collapsed souffle, or an unbaked Alaska? In any case, proper protocol dictates that I cannot leave my station. Monsieur Mario, please check the kitchen, I beg of you. The future of our establishment depends on you. The future of the culinary arts. Well, we are kind of busy with the whole paint star thing, but... Eh, it's just impossible to turn out a toe for anything. You're also adorable, even under duress. We'll go and check out the kitchen. Alright. The future of the culinary arts is at stake. We gotta do something. There's gonna be... Wow, yeah, there are enemies in here. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, they're just shy guys. They're not even slurp guys. They're just regular shy guys. Y'all afraid of them? Eh. This kitchen is the very definition of hostile work environment. I can't practice my craft amid such chaos. I don't know who you are, but please do something about these shy guys. I beg you. All right, then. Um. There. That's all y'all gotta do. <laughs> shy guys are snacking on our ingredients. No snacking allowed in this kitchen. No snacking! What kind of melon is that? Honeydew? All right. Shy guys didn't even wash their grubby little mitts. I've never seen the bin beaten down in such an unhygienic manner. Yikes. I'm so reporting this place to the health department. No need for that. Yet. I think there are some shy guys hiding around here. Okay. Mario, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now please go and save the other cooks who are being attacked. What are you even doing? I'm not... There we go. I am determined to not actually fight. And that is a big knife. Okay. I'm not crying. These tears are just from the onions. The painful, throbbing, swollen onions. Okay, I'm gonna get you. There we go. Okay. Toad, stop running. I wish to speak. Toad, stop running. I wish to speak. Toad! 
Head chef does not tolerate kitchen roughhousing. Okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay, so I guess there's hiding ones too. Well, that one was easy. I don't think I'll be able to avoid these, so yeah, open. Really? Crap, I, I don't even know if I would have been able to defeat him on a hammer thing. Really, Shun Guy? I was not expecting you of all things. All right, well then, uh, catch this KO hammer. Oh, crap. Well, he did catch that KO hammer. I can't even remember. Can I jump on you or are you considered like a spike enemy? Oh, no, I can jump on you. And I'm doing no damage. So this is a waste of time. Okay, um, I don't have fire-based weapons right now, so this is a problem. Fire or ice. Um, sniff it, help me out here. Maybe. Well, dang. What am I supposed to do? Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to use a thing. Um... Hmm. But what thing would most help out here? I got some replicas. Yeah, I'd rather use a replica before I use a real thing. Um, let's see, which one? What's one I've never used in battle? Yeah, let's try the ice pick. Why not? I have no clue what this is gonna do. Please be a good animation. Yes, I see you, Shutterstock uh, watermark. Expecting a little bit more, but that was decent enough. All right then. So that's a shun guy down. Are you colorless? No. I already know there's gonna be something in the fridge. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, the shy guys are going. Thanks, stranger. Ow. Mario, you have brought peace to my culinary oasis. I'm the head chef here at Tangerino Grill. My thanks to you. I am beaten, but my spirit still flows like a fine passion reduction. On the downside, I can't feel most of my body right now. I cannot cook until I'm fully healed. However, I see a tasty spring in your gate. I see it now. You will take my place as the head chef. A delectable future lies ahead. Well, I mean, it is for the future of the culinary arts, so I must. Agree. To help you. You, sir, are a scholar and a gentleman. Hopefully a chef as well. Our featured dish today is a time-honored classic. Pizza! You're going to make our house special. The Mamma Mia Pizza. There are three steps to our special secret pie grill prep. Step one, spread out the pizza dough into a nice thin circle. Step two, thinly slice the onions so that they will practically dissolve the second they hit the pan. Step three, give the onions and your other toppings you want a quick sear in the frying pan. The last thing you need to do is place the pizza in the oven and bake it to perfection. If you make a mistake, of course you can start over, but let's try not to waste our ingredients. We use only organic free range tomatoes. Let's see your Mamma Mia pizza. All right, well, hey, Mario about to bake a pizza, yo. 
Chef's half-hearted recipe. Ingredients, whatevs. Prep time, a while. <laughs> seasoning, nah. No seasoning? Really? We doing that here? Okay. Well, hello there. Oh, wait. Wow, that is a big piece of ice. And look, there's something frozen inside it. So I can't get that? Oh, duh. I'm like, wait, what would I use here? Oh, yes, the ice pick to pick through ice, I would assume. I hope this is something I need because I'm about to use an ice pick on this. Uh, Yeah, ice pick. Come on, help me out here. I've never used an ice pick in real life. Oh no, I wasted it. Uh, that's not gonna cut it. We're gonna need to think outside the box on this one, Mario. Ah, I wasted it. Darn. I hope I won't like actually need it then. Um, let's see, I don't know how a piggy bank would work. Cat of luck, turnip. Charcoal grill might salt and pepper, no washing machine, no cork, nah. Compass, nah, battery, nah, bottle opener, maybe? Basin and lemon. Yeah, I don't know. Um Maybe I would have to use the charcoal grill. I think? I I don't know. Alright, let me bake this freaking pizza. So uh what, flatten this? I'm trying. Okay, um, how, how, do, how do I cut this? Ready to spread some pizza dough? Yes. Press A to hit the dough with your hammer. You'll have five chances to get an excellent hit. Oh, no. I have to get an excellent. Ah, that was a great. There we go. I was expecting that to be a little bit bigger. We got how many people we need to feed? This pizza dough is perfect. Nice work. All right. Ready to slice up some onion? Yes. Press A to jump and slice the onion 20 times. All right, I can do this. <laughs> okay, that's actually neat. There we go. This isn't so tough. You sliced the onion really thinly and you didn't even cry. All right then. Ready to start frying your toppings, Mario? Yes. So frying, uh, if a frying pan starts smoking, press B to hit the pan and flip your ingredients. If you can fry for 20 seconds without burning your toppings, you'll be good to go. And I need to readjust this wire again. Okay, yeah, good to go, all right. I am ready. I am watching my food. Here we go. My accuracy is off. Nope. There we go. Yes, I didn't burn it. I know how to cook. I know how to cook. You fried the toppings just right. You're a natural. Okay, now now what? Seems like you prepared your dough and your toppings. Great. Ready to finally bake your pizza? Yes. <laughs> Put the pizza in the oven and wait 10 seconds. That's the secret to a well-baked pizza. Not a lot of folks know that. If you burn your ingredients, you have to do all the... Oh, God. Trust your instincts, but be careful. Do you think 10 seconds have passed? Get that pizza out of there. I'm going to cheat and look over at Audacity to make sure that I uh, do not go past 10 seconds. 
Let the baking begin. Okay. Sitting back a bit so I can uh, see both my computer screen and the TV screen. And... Hey. Hey. The Mamma Mia pizza is ready? Oh, such wonderment. I'll get it out there to the customer. I really appreciate your help today, Mario. Why don't you head to the dining room and spy on the customer's reactions? All right. I have nothing to be proud of, but otherwise I would have just did like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Miss, you know, just counting ten. We did not make nearly that much pizza. They're lying. Here goes nothing. Bonjour, guests. Thank you for your patience. Please enjoy Chef Mario's special, Z Mamma Mia Pizza. Awesome, greedy dudes. Well, everyone, how does it taste? Delicious! Fantastic, Mario. I took a little bite myself, and I must say, Mamma Mia, delicious. In fact, that pizza was so good, my chrome body instantly made a full recovery. I can resume cooking right away. Say, Mario, why don't you take a piece yourself? Go ahead, you've earned it. How is there any left? Ooh. That's some good pizza. Ah, uh, the customers are beaming with satisfaction. The deliciousness of your Mamma Mia pizza has everyone feeling full of life again. Hey. How long are you planning on making us wait? We're starving over here. What's this? VIP customers have been waiting. VIP customers have been waiting. Why wasn't I informed? Mario, we have a situation. Although my body is willing, I'm not sure I'm mentally prepared to handle this crisis by myself. However, I believe you have the talent to make a dish that would satisfy the refined tastes of our most exclusive VIP guests. I trust you can make them something very, 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 very special. No pressure. The VIP customer is waiting, not so patiently in this room. Okay, well, do I gotta talk to him, or is it your belief that you are capable of creating the meals that will satisfy our very particular VIP client? I guess I have no choice, because I don't see a paint star. Very well, Zen, I will show you the way. Good luck. Crumpled body, two to four weeks to recover. Well, get someone else to make the food. I swear I can hear Toes eating pizza out there. Who made that? And why can't they cook for me? ZVIP is in air. Please talk to him through the curtain. One of the VIP services we provide is a complete lack of eye contact. <laughs> that needs to be standard at every restaurant. Holy crap, that would be amazing. Just checking for stuff first. No colorless spots. All right. Are you the guy who made that pizza I can hear everyone eating? You are, aren't you? Well, why are you wasting your time here? Get in the kitchen and make me something delicious. Here's a little something to help you get started. <laughs> okay, then. What? I'm fighting a steak? What? Um... Why am I fighting a steak? Jump on the steak? Oh wait, no, this is unsanitary. Oh my god, I am fighting a freaking steak. Okay then, S steak. Um, eat foot again? Uh, 
I have no clue what I'm doing here. Um, maybe I need to use a spiky foot on it? I don't know. <laughs> No, that did nothing. Stick a fork in it, it's done. What? What? What's this? It's raw. This meat is raw. Think I'm some wild and civilized animal or something? Get out of here, you offend me. So I was feeding Gordon Ramsay? I don't... Don't take it too hard, the VIP is really picky. Why don't you ask around for some advice? Our regular customers are picky too. Why was I fighting a steak? I don't... <laughs> what? Yeah, seasoning after your preparations are complete, the flavor will sink in nicely. You can't just grill your meat all willy-nilly. You must prepare the meat first. Let the meat know that you care. Take the time to tenderize. Grilling the meat evenly on both sides is key. Hit the top and the bottom with the same amount of fire. Oh, this sounds complicated as hell. Meat stands up straight. Your preparations aren't done yet, but also be careful you don't tenderize it too much. Since it's hanging down about halfway, you know it's perfectly tender. So I need to beat the steak down the halfway? It's acceptable to grill meat using a fire flower, but the temperature can be a bit inconsistent. I'm sure that the perfect grilling tool is out there somewhere. Oh, the barbecue grill. So I gotta use things in that fight? You add the seasoning after it's grilled, the flavors won't sink in as well and it won't be as tasty. Well, I mean, that's cooking 101. You add the seasoning before you cook the meat. If you add some sour fruit juice after your grill is steak, it pushes the flavor to the peak of deliciousness. But if you use the sour fruit juice before you tenderize, the flavor will be all wrong. So, season the steak, then use the grill, then use the lemon? The best seasonings for meat are definitely salt and pepper, don't you think? Simple is best. Okay, first and foremost, you're wrong, but second, I think they want me to use salt and pepper, then the grill, then the lemon. I guess that makes sense. Speed is important when you're cooking meat. The match is three turns or less. If you want to end earlier, just select done. Or you've got the perfect tool to spread pizza dough and tenderize meat. Oh, the hammer! Okay. You can't call it cooking if you do your preparations with just any old thing, you know. Oh, but I don't have any regular hammers. I've got the right tools or seasonings. Go see if you can get anything from the peddler. Oh, okay, so... Cooking is like life. If you make a mistake during your preparations, there's no going back to fix it. Well, maybe that's not the most uplifting perspective to take. How about this? I'm sure that if you continue to challenge yourself again and again, you will grill some delicious meat in the future. You'll still have to pay for all the meat, though. No such thing as free meat. Deep. Okay. So, yeah, essentially by him saying, like, you have the tools to spread pizza dough and tenderize meat. But I'm looking and I don't have any regular... I have an eek hammer. And hurl hammers. I'll give it a shot with the eek hammers I have. And I do have those things. Alright, so... Tenderize it to when it's at half mast. I really want to chastise you, but I'm simply too weak from hunger. I'm going to give you one more chance. If you mess it up again, don't think I won't. Think of something to do, because I will. Alright, steak. I'm ready. So, tenderize it to when it gets to the halfway point. Then use the salt, pepper, grill, and, uh, thing in that order, yes. Um, the, um, lemon, there we go, and then we're done. But I need to heal because uh, this thing hits pretty hard. That's some tough meat.
All right, how's that? Oh no, it looks a little floppy, but not quite. All right, let's let's try another one. Oh, but I only have three turns. Oh, that that's about half. That that is about half, right? I'm gonna assume. Okay. So then the things that I need. Salt and pepper coming all the way back from the 90s to help me out in cooking a steak. And a grill and a lemon. Gotta paint in everything. Alright. Let's do this. That's not quite half. That's maybe a third. Ah, crap. <laughs> okay, well, it's been seasoned. What is with that... <laughs> Windows XP-esque background. Oh, God. Ooh, that steak looks nice. Oh, my God. The texture on that lemon. Oh, God. Oh my god! Stick a fork in it, it's done! Like, wh why does that snake kicking Mario's ass? Like, I'm, I'm very confused. Wh where are they getting this meat from? Bon Appetit! I am waited up. Oh. Oh, yes! Okay, good. I, I didn't think I tenderized it enough, but okay, that was roughly half. The, this is the best steak I've ever eaten. You really are a very talented chef. This flavor is so unique. I'll officially recognize this place as one of my favorite one-and-a-half-star restaurants. <laughs> and I'll leave this here. Ooh. It's a mini paint star. You did it, Mario. Thank you. That VIP barely ever touched any of the food I cooked for him, but he waited a uh, wolf down your steak like some kind of wolf or something. And what's more, he gave our restaurant a star and a half. The VIP was trash satisfied when he finished eating the food. He is transferring to the Sunset Express after Zeus. The big star is waiting for you up ahead, but it looks like that little star is ready for you right now. By big star, could he mean the big paint star? Is there a big paint star at the end of the Sunset Express? Mario, we need to get on that Sunset Express ASAP. And what do we have back here? Um, there we go, okay. Cool. Checking the menu. That's 100% colorization. I guess that's the door to the outside that we couldn't open earlier. Yep. All right, then. Well, let's grab it. Meanwhile, I need to go back and buy a freaking ice pick to replace the one I just used. So how do I get that thing that was in the ice? Then if the ice pick didn't work. I'm gonna assume the grill. 
Maybe. Well, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go back and buy one of those, too. So then after that, we have... Oh, wow, yeah, the next boss area, Sunset Express, so... Wow. These last few levels... I mean, not last few levels, like these sections past the halfway point go by pretty quick. All right then, so yeah, next time we're going to the Sunset Express and uh, fighting the next Koopaling and getting a giant paint star. First things first, heading back to Port Prisma because we got a Hollow Peach. Oh crap, and I never returned that other Hollow Peach to the dude because I had no reason to come back. All right then, so yeah, I gotta find that. Gotta get an ice pick and uh, other stuff. Cool. Heal me, thank you. All right. Yeah, I went ahead and bought another grill too. I just wanna try it out. Cause I was thinking like, well, to be fair, like the things don't really repeat, but that's not the case because like, the fan was used twice. So that's why I'm thinking, wait, you must seek a thing that makes small voices big. Seek within a small room where mechanics meet. Makes small voices big. Oh, the megaphone. Yeah, I have that. Really special feeling about this particular thing. I think it would be just a thing for you. I sense one more thing about the thing or things you seek. You already have everything you need right now. Okay. Yeah, I do have the megaphone, right? Yeah, yeah, I got that. All right. Oh, there's the hollow peach. Mario, I figured out what Bowser's plan is. He's going to... Ah! Well, you're kind of late on the draw with that. Wait, isn't there, like, another hollow piece that I haven't even picked up yet? So, well, okay. I don't even know why I'm talking to you. Hmm. Alright, well. Guess that's it for all the rescue squad members. Well, aside from this dude that's so depressed that... Yeah. Hmm. There is a cutout here. Do I have to use a thing to make him bigger? Oh wait, no, what happened to the tree? No! What happened? Mario, this tree got six of the four guys that were here before left to find some sort of tree medicine. They said they need to find some flower called a rainbow carnation. Its pollen supposedly brings plants back to life. But they said that it only grows in super dangerous, high up, hard to reach places. I'm sure they'll be fine, though. Aw, oh, man, poor tree. That I'm hitting. Alright, well, they went off to find some tree medicine, so hopefully they will succeed. I don't think I've encountered, like, Rainbow carnations anywhere? Oh, look, another mess of peach, a new howl peach. Oh, we're just skipping? Oh, okay. You know what Bowser's plan is? He's going to ah. Oh no, what happened to the rest of the message? What does it mean? Hurry, Mario, you've got to save her. This is the same one, so it just go like defaults to the Last one you found. All right, well, that's flavor text from this toad that I won't be seeing. Uh, well, I should have came back here. But I didn't have a need to, because I had everything I needed, so, okay. Well, I guess nothing left to do but go to the shop because I am kind of, uh, low on other things. Ah, crap, wait, I gotta stop at the museum first. All right, so here you get the big spin jump. 
One day I'll figure out how to do a spin jump properly. And then, yeah, I do have some enemies to drop off. Or at least one. Yep, just one. Ninji. But now I'm curious. Oh, wait, yeah, because with that dude down there, I can always, like, rebuy the things that I give here. Which might not be the worst strategy. I mean, I have, like, all this freaking money. I just want to see, like, do you take replicas or do you have to take... Yeah, he takes the real things. I'll hold off. Okay. So that means I'm free to use replicas whenever I want. And replicas I want to save for the tough enemies where nothing can really hurt them. Like the gold or uh, silver shy guys, or I can use metal on them. Like, okay, yeah, I guess that's just an alternate way of hurting them, because, yeah, with the gold or silver shy guys, you need to use, like, either, um, whatchamacallsit, um, the iron jump or the hurl hammer. And for the slurp guys, you have to use either fire flower, ice flower, or a thing. And for the black shy guys, them I don't quite understand, because the, they... It's like sometimes I am able to hit them, sometimes they dodge stuff. So I don't know like what's considered like quick enough to hit a black shy guy. But then if all else fails, you can just use a thing. Okay, so yeah, three enemy types that require things if you don't have a specific item to get them with. Okay. Anyway, time to spend some money here. Alright, so I bought a ton of cards, so now last thing I'm going to do is try out the grill at Tangerino Grill to see if that can allow me to get that thing that's in the ice. I hope so. Yeah, like, I think there's another, like, hollow peach. Or did I actually grab it and I just forgot to go back and talk to that toe? That might be what happened then, okay. I could have sworn there was another one. Oh no, I did get the one that was in Red Pepper. Alright then. They're all still just sitting here? Huh. I just wanted to see what they all say. <laughs> well, I mean, you didn't pay for dessert. And now I'm thinking, like, I could really go for a pizza right now. Or a steak. Too bad I can have neither because I'm kind of in, uh... Like, I ain't got no god dang money mode for about a week. <laughs> but the toes likes to eat pizza with my hands. No knife and fork. Who the hell eats pizza with a knife and fork? Who? D no. No, no, we laugh at those people. We shun those people. Hmm, top of the line, onions, and then what were the other two? I think pepperoni and uh, green peppers. God, that sounds so good right now. Hunger is the ultimate seasoning? What? I have never heard that. It, yeah, I've never heard that. <laughs> But yeah, I could really go for some, like, actual food right now. And, like, this game up here throwing pizza and steak in my face. But I'm probably just gonna go downstairs and fix some ramen noodles and, uh, some of those Eckridge smoked sausages for my dinner. Meanwhile, the fam out here going out to IHOP, and well, they're probably not going to IHOP today. Um, I forgot that I was supposed to be playing a card right now. Uh, where's the grill at? Where's, where's the freaking grill? Oh, there it is. Alright, let's see if this will work. That didn't, that, what? 
No. Um, so that's going out of my inventory? That is going out of my inventory. Well, then I don't know what we have to use here. Um, hmm. Guess I'll be coming back, maybe? I mean, that hint toad said I'm going to need the megaphone, but I have everything I need right now, so I guess it's not, I, like, yeah, I don't have an, a, a need for whatever that is in the ice right now, so he's not saying that I need a specific thing for that, right? I, I don't know. I'm just going to assume I'll get something later to deal with that. I don't know what other thing it could possibly use. Oh, well. But yeah, anyway, uh, next time we're going to the Sunset Express to fight another Koopaling and get the orange big paint star. Which is probably going to fill in that dinosaur, because that's the only giant colorless thing I can think of left. Oh, but then there's... Yeah, I haven't done anything in Red Pepper Volcano yet. But I think that was because I couldn't get through, but then what are you going to do? And then I gotta figure out how to get into that pipe in Sacred Forest. Huh. Yeah, I don't really know what's gonna happen next. Oh well, um... We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens after we get the uh, next big paint star, so... Thank you for watching, have a great day, and see you next time for some more Let's Play Super Paper Mario, not Super Paper Mario, Paper Mario Color Splash. My god, I'm just saying like all the different Paper Mario games today, huh? And yeah, then there's this path over here, but I'm sure Red Pepper would lead over to that Rochambeau Temple up there. And... Oh no, that was just a flat out dead end. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know what's gonna happen next. Oh well, we'll get to it when we get to it. Bye.